Welcome back. In this video, we will look at the dashboard module in Synchro Control. In the control project, we can click on the dashboard module and it will bring us to the dashboard view. On top, we have a drop down menu for form definitions. Note that if a form definition status is set to draft, it will not appear in this drop down. We can choose which form definitions to populate the dashboard from this drop down. By default, all published form definitions will be selected. To deselect or select a form definition, click on the definition. We have an export button right next to the drop down, which we will discuss later in this video. To the right is another drop down menu where we can filter the form definitions by a time frame or not. On the right, we have a lock, which is a new feature. Let's hover over it. The lock allows us to configure the dashboard layout and add or remove widgets. We will get back to this later in the video. Below we have three card widgets, a radial chart, bar graph, and quick stats. Let's take a look at the radial chart first. The property dropdown lets us quickly select a property value to filter the radial chart. For example, if we want to know how many forms are open and how many are closed, we can select state as the property value. Hovering over the chart will display the form's number in percentage. By clicking on it, it will add another layer of filter to our dashboard. All other widgets and the forms table below will adapt to this filter. To remove the filter, click here. This same logic works with the values in the legend as well. Change the property value to display the name and notice that there is a no value value in the legend. How can we get rid of this value? Click on the three dots or the meatballs button, then click on exclude no value. A search bar appears displaying all the values in the legend. We can search for all the values that contain the word test in it. The list will adapt to what we are searching for. By clicking on the value, it functions the same as clicking on the chart itself, which adds another layer of filter. Now let's move on to the bar graph. Here we can add multiple property values to populate the graph. For example, if we want to see both properties, status and state, we can add both values here and the graph will display these values. We have the option to change the display to a line graph when needed. The quick stats widget displays some of the most used stats for our forms. Most of the quick stats also function as filters. For example, if we want to see the forms that have been assigned to me, we can click on that quick stat and the information in the other widgets will update. The table view allows us to drill down into each individual form. When we click on the form, the thumbnail view will appear. Now let's return to the lock feature that allows us to configure the dashboard layout and add or remove widgets. The widgets include the radial chart, bar graph, quick stats, and table below. We can go ahead and click on it. Now it shows that it's unlocked, meaning the layout of my personal dashboard is editable. Also, the personal dashboard name, input field, and a plus button will appear. The name cannot be changed because the personal dashboard is a system default dashboard. We can change the name of a dashboard if it is created using this plus button, which we will test out later. But for now, let's remove all the widgets in the personal dashboard. Now let's add the widgets back. We will need a radial chart in this column, a bar graph in this column, quick stats in this one, and the forms table in the one below. This form table only allows for filled out forms. The job is done. So let's go ahead and lock the dashboard. How about we create a new dashboard? We will need to go back to the plus button first. To do this, we will need to unlock the dashboard and then click on the plus button. For the name, we can use another personal dashboard. Let's relocate the quick stats down here. Then for the empty location, we can add a line graph. Let's save and now we have two personal dashboards. Now let's return to the export button. All the forms will be exported to a CSV file. Note that the export contains all the forms. This sums up the introduction to Synchro Control Dashboard Module. See you in the next one.